Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we still have moringas, but they only grow in the shade. The others look very primitive, almost no leaves, but here under the tree, protecting protecting them from the western sun they look good anyway I have installed this a 40 millimeter gate valve and a T junction and another T junction and a filter and another 32 millimeters, one inch uh, ball valve. And uh, now this water here comes from the round water tank, and this water here comes from the square water tank. So I'm rich now, I have options to decide where the water comes from. It feels good, but there's a catch. Also I have installed a pipe from this round water tank. It runs here. And then to my primitive glamour camping. I'm still burying it here. And then suddenly this red hazard tape showed up. And I realized, oh shucks, this is where I have buried the main water line. So, I saved myself a lot of trouble by putting this danger tape on top. But uh, I should learn now, because I have buried so many pipes, to think first and then dig. At the end of this line is another ball valve. Now let's go higher. Steve asked about the sunflowers. Eh, they're very primitive, but here they are. This pipe, 32 millimeter polyethylene, I have just installed and it has another ball valve that goes to the pond. I don't want to bury this, this is just temporary. Hopefully someday the pond can look after itself. And somewhere here is an existing line that I inherited from that round water tank. With other words, we have a pipe coming here underground. I didn't find it when I was digging this swale, so I assume it is much deeper. Mine is uh, 10 centimeters deep, the pipes I have buried. I don't know why that one is buried so deeply. Two pipes, two water supplies. So here on the water farm, we have the round tank. It's a fiberglass tank. It holds 10,000 liters. And then we have this, I don't know, kind of synthetic material tank 
that holds a hundred thousand liters. This is where I have taken the water now from, running to the garden, running to the pond, and there is an existing line here running to the house and now to the garden around the house to make it a little bit more complicated the sources where the water come from is the well and the canal system so I can either fill from either of the two, any of these two. I prefer to always have the water for this water tank in uh, from the well for the household use. And I prefer to have the water for the square tank from the cistern. I can now hear Luna barking. I even know what the bark means. It means she is locked in to the inner house fence line. And uh, <laughs> she's not happy with that, I assume. So, my concern was if I leave either of those or any of those five, six taps valves open, I can lose a hundred and ten thousand liters overnight. The best is to shut it down here and there, but I don't want to do that all the time. So if you hear some water running at night, phone me. I'll come and shut it down. Till next time. Goodbye.